Hello everyone and welcome back to yet again another video. There's a couple of changes that's happened. I bought a new camera. I got rid of my Canon 700D and replaced it with a Lumix FZ2 thing, I don't know, it does 1080p at 60fps and 4K recording so I'm pretty happy with that. I also bought a mouse pad, like that, to try to use as a background instead of using the desk, but like it's kind of wonky and it doesn't really work, I don't know. Let me know if you guys kind of want to see this, or if you just want to see desk. Okay, it's up to you, up to you. So if you are unaware of the previous AirPods videos that I have done, I shall cut it up here for you to have a look at. But pretty much after I'd filmed that video, I went to my local markets on that Sunday and thought I'd just have a bit of a squiz around and all that stuff, and I ended up buying some more of them. Why? I, I don't know. I kind of did get offered them at a good price, so... Anyway, we have three different types that we're going to have a look at today. The first ones are these Bose TWS 5s, which we'll get to in a second, or minutes, or half an hour. Then we have some JBL 3X9s. This was already open when I got it, and I have tested these, but I haven't tested them properly. That makes sense. And then I have these. Oh, it's got an Apple logo. Oh no, oh no. So I think we're going to start with these ones, because these are the most interesting ones. But just before I continue on, I don't endorse buying fakes and all that sort of stuff, but these were at a market, and, well, what I paid for these were... Let's ignore that one for a second. I paid $25 each, $25 Australian, which is like 18 US, for each of these, so reasonable. But these here... These here... Right here. I said to the guy, when I picked these up, he had like about three or four of these, and I picked them up and I said, are these real? And he said, yes. So I said, if I register the warranty with this using the serial number, it all will come up. He's like, yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. I think he's lying, but these cost me 50 bucks Australian. He originally wanted a hundred for them, and I was like, you're out of your damn mind, because I think they're fake. But if they are real, well, I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're gonna just have a look at these and, I don't know, like the fact that these are shrink-wrapped and everything, it's kind of like, yeah, all right, no worries, but, yeah. So this may be a long video, so just prepare yourselves, this may be a long one, but I'll try to be as comprehensive as possible, as per usual. So automatically, the ones I want to start off with first are the AirPods, because that sort of continues on from what I was looking at last time. And as you can see, they have AirPods. The printing of the AirPods is actually slightly raised up, which is much better than the previous ones where it was just a flat printing, so... But honestly, it's not that bad of a print, but we'll keep going. We have the shiny Apple logo. Is that not in the center? I don't know. Uh, shiny Apple logo. Uh, here with, here's all the information here. AirPods with charging case, compatible with iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, Apple Watch, Mac, and all that sort of stuff. There's a serial number there. If anyone wants to look at that serial number, feel free. I probably won't look it up. Uh, but there's the model number, AirPods with charging case, designed by Apple in California. I don't see any spelling mistakes, so that is good. Shiny Apple logo, AirPods. That, now, this is what threw me off. The font looks wrong. It just, it looks a little too bold for me. I don't know, I'm, I'm not an Apple fanatic, so I cannot tell you if it looks good or not. Then on the back here, it says AirPods with charging case and all that sort of stuff. We have more Apple information there and that there and the lightning connector and the... Pods. That's just a flat print, but that's okay. All right, well, I've had these around for about two or three weeks now, whenever I last uploaded that AirPods video, and I really want to see what these look like. And if you guys have an official, original, OEM, whatever, pair of AirPods, let me know down in the comments if this is anything close to it. So let's go ahead and... Oh, man. Just slice through it like it's nothing. He didn't have any of the uh, AirPod Pros, which was surprising. I just thought he might have had like a stockpile of them, but he didn't. Also, I just noticed that that's kind of that way, and that's that way. If it was an actual official Apple product, it would probably be that way. Don't worry. Got it. So we get this little design by Apple in California. It's shiny. Uh, does it have Apple stickers? No. AirPods. That looks official. I mean, you know. Uh, the instructions, all in Chinese. 
Uh, okay, connect to other devices. Open the headphone box lid, automatically turn on the earphone after taking it out, then go to Bluetooth, set of mobile phone, and select AirPods connection. Sounds pretty good. Warning, to prevent possible hearing damage, do not listen at high volume for long periods. Okay. We have the specifications here saying that the Bluetooth solution is real tech. Okay. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, okay. Uh, transmission distance over 10 meters without obstacles. I won't put any hurdles up. That's fine. 2.4 gigahertz. Talk time about 5 hours. Listening time about 3 hours. Standby time about 120 hours. Latest 5.0 Bluetooth protocol. Ultra low power consumption. Hi-fi sound quality. Music is 2.5 hours long. That's, that's good to know. All right, cool. So, yeah, we know that they're probably most likely fake. They feel heavy. Compared to the TWS ones, this feels like premium, premium. Um, little tiny, oh, hey, that's official looking. I mean, it's more official than those little, you know, tiny little ones that had the little cable tie on. So that's that's an upgrade. We got an upgrade, yay. Now there's plastic film covering this, so we're gonna have to remove that, unfortunately. Uh, but on the back here, it says designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. Well, here they are, here in all their glory, so. Let's open it up and have a look. There's a contacts just down in there. On the back we have a little button. Is it charged? I don't know. Is there any lights on the real one? I don't really know. That's satisfying. So while I was just putting the case from one of the TWS ones on this, I discovered that there's text just in there. It's a serial number, battery information, all that sort of stuff just in there. Attention to detail. All right, so here we have the AirPod that I found on the ground, which I explained in my last video. And yes, I still haven't put it in my ear because it's not safe, probably. I don't know. And then here is the AirPods that I got. And yeah, the R on that's a little bit off, but so be it. There's the holes at the back. And the little contacts look the same. They look the same. I wonder if I can actually charge this one. I think someone suggested that as well. So I'm gonna try that. It doesn't really quite fit. Whereas that fits quite nicely. Yeah, so I don't think that's gonna work. But overall though, design wise, they're about one to one. I would assume anyways. Well, they have appeared on my iPhone as Bluetooth audio. So I assume that's the ones. Okay, it's not supported, that's fair. You gotta, gotta do that. Uh, okay. Alright, so I've tried both of my 6S's with these AirPods and they just won't connect for some reason. So I'm just gonna leave them on charge. We're gonna have a look at the next ones and then we'll come back to that one last. Which means what we have next are the Bose, is it pronounced Bose? I hope it is. TWS5, truly wireless in-ear headphones, and in another language I'm not going to pronounce it just because I will butcher it. Uh, slightly raised up printing. Touch. Touch. Calls music active. Appels music activity sportives. Bluetooth. Cool. Uh, version 5. Uh, yeah, version 5. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, nothing around there, nothing around there, nothing around there. Okay, and on the back here, we have truly wireless in-ear headphones. And the pictures of the product as well as the core features. The twist lock never falls out. Durable build, long-lasting, sweat-proof, active use. Sound, pure bass performance, wireless features, three-button mic, volume, music, and call control. Universal control, iPhone and Android compatible, eight-hour battery, powers a week of workouts. I don't believe eight hours is a week, but okay, that's all right. Includes 12-month premium membership to map my fitness. Never heard of that one before, but alrighty. So, um, yeah, it's just in a very generic -y box. Shrink wrap. That was easy. Inside of these, I believe, is going to be the same as the JBL ones, but we will see. Uh, slightly different. Slightly different. Here we have wireless earbuds charging box, input 5 volt 1 amp charger case, 450 milliamp hours. I thought the sticker is just, just not centered, that's okay. We've got four little holes there, obviously, for the charging LED indicators, and then we have... There we go. Uh, the Bose, Bose headset just in there, with left and right. Cool. 
We also get a little tiny micro USB cable. I'm not sure how practical a tiny little micro USB cable like that's gonna be, but hey, you get one at least. And then we have the instructions in here as well. Compatible with iOS and Android devices, that is good. Twins True Wireless Earbuds. Calls can support unilateral Bluetooth headset, shutdown and play. Ah, yeah, it's, it seems, seems quite regular. And Chinese writing as well. Nothing else in the box that's free. Nope. All right, so the Bose one's here. You can kind of see it's transparent. So you can see them charging. So I'm gonna press the button here and see what happens, if anything happens. Of course nothing would happen. Maybe if I take them out of the housing. Maybe if I don't do anything. So these need to charge as well. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, oh, there we go. That's more like it. Looks like we're gonna have to charge these up for a bit as well. So I'll, I'll just put them with the rest of the stuff that's charging. And then finally here we have the JBL 3X9 True Wireless Earbuds with charging case. Calls music active, Apple's music. Uh, yeah, it's, the, it's basically the same thing. Uh, yeah, exactly the same thing. Includes the 12 month premium membership, but that's just not in there unless I missed it. Uh, but yeah, the JBL ones actually says that it includes one pair of Bluetooth Sport headphones, two sizes of ergonomic ear tips. Yeah, they don't come with extra ear tips. You only just get one of them. So if they don't fit in your ear, good luck. You'll have to pinch a couple of them off another pair of earphones if you want to use them. A premium carrying case, one cord kinch. So what is, what is a cord kinch? Or cinch, is it cinch? Kinch, cinch, I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I've definitely charged these ones up and tested these. And you get the tiny little cable, and you get the little manual as well. This one's just like, the, the manuals are getting smaller and smaller. Matters needing a Tanian. Do not treat this product with vile objects so far away from the high tem. <laughs> what the f Away from Wi-Fi and routers and other high-frequency transmitter equipment, this will affect the local signal reception, resulting in sound card breaking and disconnection. Please use this product in a valid environment and do not have entity blocks such as walls, etc., between Bluetooth devices and headphones. This product can be connected to any Bluetooth-enabled device. Wow. I want my 12 months membership, please. And no, there is nothing else included in the box. All right, and here are the JBL ones. There's no sticker. There's nothing, but it's basically the same sort of dealio. Actually, will they fit? Will the Bose ones fit in the JBLs? I wonder. Oh, they have buttons. I forgot. They have buttons. Yeah, you can put them in there, but they kind of don't fit. So if you just clock, hang on, I'll, I'll try that again. If you just close the lid though, they'll charge. <laughs> that works. The JBL ones just have two little gold contacts, little ear tip, and button, and then we also have the same one on that one, just a little button. Now, it does say stuff, and I want you guys to hear what it says, but unfortunately because of my new camera, the microphone's kind of located at the top of the camera where the lighting is. I've got to change my lighting setup, I know. So I now have my new S10, which has some cracks in it, but that's okay, it still works perfectly fine. Um, and we're gonna use this to record audio. I've got it on interview, so I can use the top and bottom mics on this to record the audio and then splice them in. So I appear to be having some sort of troubles trying to connect everything up, so I'm gonna try this again because this is um, this is all charged now. And the minute I start filming, the crickets outside decide to scream their heads off. Thanks. All right, so stuffing around trying to connect everything up, I finally got it. I could only connect one at a time, and then I went back to the instruction manual and somehow made sense of how to actually connect them both at the same time, and I have. So now I can finally test BFG Division on here, and then I'll put it in my ears and see what I think. I've just got to line them up correctly. Okay, should be fine now. Okay, so we're going to be trying Mick Gordon's BFG division from the 2016 Doom game. And oh, I'm so hyped for Doom Eternal. And we're going to start it at about 1 minute 10 and just play about 15 to 20 seconds worth. And then I'll pump it up to full ball and we'll see how that sounds.
Okay, so now I'm going to bump it up to full ball and try it now. Alright, so now that I've recorded that, I'm going to try these in my own ears and see how they sound. Alright, so I've turned the volume down on my one, so I'll try these now and see how they sound. Will they fit my ears quite good? So that's a start. Shaking my head violently, they're not going to fall out, they're actually a really comfortable fit. These are actually not too bad. Yeah, okay, so um, these are fairly loud. <laughs> I couldn't even get to full ball before I had to take them out because they were just that loud. Pretty much on about 25% sounds really good for these ones. The buttons on these also are for pause and play and I believe double click is to skip to the next song. I think three times goes back. Oops, I don't know what I've done. Uh, it says something. Last number redialed. There you go, last number redialed. Overall though, sound wise, they're a little bit muffled, and when you get into the higher range, they just start to become a little bit sort of distorted and stuff. And as I said, when I got to full ball, I just, yeah, I had to take them out because they were just really loud and just really full on. Um, but it's amazing that these little tiny things can pack in that amount of punch. Considering the sheer size of these things, the driver in these would be, what I would say, 10 mil drivers in these ones. But overall though, they're actually not too bad. And then we just, once we're done with them, just stick them back in their little case. And that's it. Done. Overall, these are a very big improvement over the TWS 12 ones, or 9 ones, whichever ones were good in the last video. And it's interesting to see what this will sound like when I try this later on. Next up we have the Bose ones, which have touch instead of button, which is going to be a little confusing. That's okay. Let's take both of these out. All right, successfully paired these both together. So I'm gonna open up this again, try them out, and see how we go. The only thing I hate about the S10 is the fingerprint sensor. It is just the most unreliable thing ever, but so be it. All right, now I'm gonna play them at full ball. So I'm gonna put them in my ears in a second, but just quickly, with just touching them though, obviously that plays stuff, so if you're sort of out and about and you go to move them, you're probably going to accidentally touch these and then play a song or skip a song or something like that. So you've got to be a little bit careful when handling these. Alright, they fit good in the ears. That's actually really reasonable. Not going to fall out anytime soon. So that's good. Alright, halfway it. Okay, so these ones to me, in a nutshell, I would say these sound rumbly. <laughs> if that, that doesn't make sense, but they sort of grumble as it plays, it's just like sort of thing. It's not really consistent, and at high, it's just so distorted that it's just not even, like, it's loud, but it's just really distorted and just, nah, not that good. The JBL ones do sound a lot better than these ones, but I just don't like the touch thing. I would rather an actual physical button. On both the Bose ones and the JBLs, the lights don't flash when they're paired. Once they're paired, they do not flash. So that's kind of a good thing, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect them. And we're gonna try and see if the AirPods work. So I guess we just open up. And we press button. Hang on. Oh, hello. We have this, connect. Okay, um, that was fairly easy. And yeah, they actually say AirPods connected. So comparing these ones to the TWS ones that I've had a look at, there's no obvious flashing lights, which is a good thing. 
and they're also touch sensitive. So touching them will play. I say that and it doesn't do it now. Sorry about that, my camera decided to die so I've had to charge it up and resume this. Uh, what I was saying was that these have touch controls on them. You should be able to hear it now. Um, what happens is when you put them in your ears, it will start playing and when you take them out, it stops and pauses it. So I think that's on the real deal, I, I believe anyways, but I can't seem to activate it any other way. The touch thing just sort of works when it wants to and you just sort of press and hold and it activates Siri. But the sound recording I was doing on my S10 actually wasn't working at all. Uh, it was recording, it's, it was really weird, it was really strange. So what I had to do was record in video mode and so what you've heard previously is from me taking a video from the S10 and then putting these on the mics and it, I don't know, I just, just go along with it. So I'm gonna do exactly that. So I'm gonna splice in these at half volume right now. Okay, and now we bump them up to full ball. Okay, and then actual in-ear test. Uh, they've got a bit of noise cancelling to them. They're not going to fall out anytime soon, which is good. They're quite clear. These are very, very clear. So I've got this on maybe 20% or something. And the highs and lows are really, really good. The bass is nice. 50% sounds even better. Plenty of bass. I can hear the distorted synths and stuff that's going on in this song. Alright, take it back a bit. Oh my god. Yep, that's brutal. Holy moly. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, at full volume. Like, I didn't even get the full volume. Ah, uh, they sound great. <laughs> they sound good. These little guys here, they sound good. They sound really, really f***ing good. I'm quite surprised. So then my next test would be the endurance tests. Now obviously I'm not going to jump to conclusions and say, ah yeah, that one lasted that many hours and this stuff. Instead, I will splice in what my experience was with the battery on all three of these devices. I'll do it in different scenarios and stuff, and I'll splice it in here for you all to read and stuff. Uh, if you ever do come across these at a market or something like that, and you're like, oh well, Smalls reviewed them, so I wonder if I should get them and see how they fare out or something like that. I mean, that's completely up to you. There's probably much better ones out there, but considering when I paid for these, 25 each for the JBLs and the Bose, and then 50 for these. Look, 50 bucks for these is more for the gimmick of it having Apple and stuff like that on the box. To me, they sound significantly better than the i12s or i9s. Was it? I think the i9s was the ones that sounded better in the last video. And I forgot to mention as well, when you open it up, there's a little green light that's just in there. And at one point that was a solid white color as well. I don't know if that's on the real deal or not, so you'll have to let me know down in the comments below. Overall, in this very long video, cheap, Wireless earphones are out there. Obviously these are knockoffs, but they sound good. And if you just want a pair that you don't really care about, perfect. Instead of spending the $200, $300 on AirPod Pros or whatever, you can get alternatives from like Xiaomi and from actual JBL and Bose, I believe. And they'll probably be the same performance, if not better. I, oh, look, I'm just assuming anyways, but I'm just saying, there are alternatives to Apple products, is what I'm saying, that are a lot cheaper and will probably work out better in the end. But with this little bunch here, I'm going to give it to the AirPods. I'm going to say that they sounded the best out of this bunch. The JBLs come in second, and then the Bose ones come in third for me. But, you know, overall, they performed quite well. And as I said, I'll splice in the battery tests and stuff for all of these and let you guys know 
how long they lasted and all that sort of stuff, but I can see myself wearing these for however long they last, you know, while I'm out and about and stuff, and because they don't flash or anything, people aren't going to notice that these are fake. Ah, oh, it's a status symbol. Everyone's going to be like, oh, he's got AirPods. You know, he's got AirPods first gen. Oh, where's, where's the AirPod Pros, man? Um, should I review a pair of AirPod Pros off Wish or something like that? Let me know down in the comments because, you know, I, I like doing the sound stuff. It's kind of cool. I mean, I'm not too far into the technical musical terms and stuff, but I can tell you what sounds good and what sounds absolute garbage because I've had some pretty shitty headphones over the years, so... Yeah, no, these, these turned out actually fairly good. And as I said, they, they were at my local market, which I'm going to be going there in six hours. <laughs> so if I find any more out there, I'll certainly grab them and do a review on them and all that sort of stuff. There's not much else that I can really do or say. I can't tear these down because if I tear them down, I'm going to ruin them. They're just going to be as they are. Knock off earphones, AirPods, Air things, wireless, TWS, right here in the bunch. Please let me know what you thought of this all down in the comments. Timestamps are in the pinned comment as well as the description if you want to skip along and just see which ones sounded better. Um, and then feel free to let me know down in the comments what you thought of these and which ones you think sounded better. The microphone test isn't really the greatest way of showing you all what they really sound like, but it's the best way that I can come up with. And I've also tried it on my Blue Yeti and that doesn't really pick up the sound quality of these too good. I may have to fine tune it a little bit in Audacity and stuff. I, I don't know, but just let me know if you have any recommendations or whatever. Please let me know down in the comments because I always like to hear what you guys have to say and all that sort of good stuff. But I am going to leave it there. So thank you very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And I'm sorry that it has gone on so long, but I just want to be as comprehensive and try to do as many things as I can, even though the AirPods and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, thank you once again. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one which uh, we've got a couple of phones to test, including this thing. And BFG Division just started playing by itself. We'll get to that one another day. All right, everyone, take care, be good people, don't fight in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next video, which will be something along the lines of this. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.